Scorigami is a popular term used by NFL fans to indicate when a football game ends with a score that has never happened in any game before. Charts have been made to visually help the fans understand the concept of Scorigami. So how can we translate this to NASCAR? Well, today we'll be taking a look at car numbers that have never won a NASCAR race before. But first, we need a name for NASCAR's version of Scorigami. Comment the term we should call this down below. The best ones will be hearted and the top one will be pinned. However, for this video, let's use the term NASCAR GAMI. Drivers can race numbers 00 to 09 and 0 to 99, creating 110 unique possible numbers. For this video, we'll be focusing on NASCAR's Cup Series only, so let's go through all the numbers that have never scored wins. The O2 car has only run 305 races all time. It is not currently being raced in NASCAR and was most recently driven by David Gilliland in 2009. This car number has never won. The O3 car has run 138 races, making it the fifth least used car number of all time. It was most recently driven by Butch Leitzinger in 1994. The O4 has run 153 races and was last driven by PJ Jones in 2009. The 05 was raced 203 times, most recently driven by Ed Ferree in 1993. The 08 was raced 117 times, most recently by Terry Labonte in 2009. The 35 car was most recently raced by David Gilliland in 2016, but still has no wins. The 36 car has raced in 739 races and is currently being driven by Matt Tift. The car number currently has no wins, but Tift could potentially break NASCAR GAMI by scoring a victory at Talladega later this year. The 50 car has run 320 races and was last driven by Bill Elliott in 2012. The 57 car, driven 298 times, was last raced by Kevin LePage in 2003. The 61 car was raced 230 times, last being driven by Chad Chaffin in 2006. Car number 63 ran 146 races, and was last driven by Dick Trickle in the 1996 Daytona 500. The 65 car has run the least amount of races in NASCAR, competing in only 97. The number was last raced by Jerry O'Neill in 1993. The 67 car competed in 638 races, and was last driven by Boris Said in 2002. The 68 raced 403 times, last being driven by Anthony Lazaro in 2001. The number 69 has been raced the second least amount of times in NASCAR and was last raced by Denny Wilson in 1992. The 70 car has run the most amount of times without capturing a win. It has run 761 races and was last driven by Mike Skinner in 2009. Car 74 ran in 467 races last being driven by Stacy Compton in 2012. The 76 has run 324 races and was last raced by Ron Hornaday Jr. in 1994. Car number 79 ran in 478 races and was most recently driven by Kelly Byers in 2012. The 82 ran in 349 races, last raced by Scott Speed in 2010. Car 84 ran 222 races and was last raced by Cole Witt in 2011. The 93 car raced 413 times, most recently by Ryan Ellis in 2016. The 94 ran 530 times, last by Stanton Barrett in 2004. Matt Benedetto almost broke Scorigami for the 95 car at Bristol in the 2019 season. He was passed for the win in the closing laps, taking home second place. He still has opportunities to break NASCAR Gami this year, but if he doesn't, that chance will go to Christopher Bell. Out of the 110 possible numbers ever driven in NASCAR, 23 of them have never seen winner's circle. Now, let's look at a few car numbers who have recently broke this term I call NASCAR Gami. David Rudiman broke NASCAR Gami for the double zero by winning the rain-shortened Coca-Cola 600 in 2009. Clint Boyer scored the first win for the 07 car at New Hampshire in 2007. Brad Keselowski broke NASCAR Gami for the 09 car at Talladega in 2009 in a dramatic way. Ryan Newman got the first win in the 39 car at Phoenix in 2010. So who will break through and achieve the next NASCAR GAMI? All signs point to the 95 of Matt Benedetto or Christopher Bell the following year, but I'll leave that for you to decide. 